visiting with quarterbacks coach Tress Sullivan. Uh, we're about five days uh, through practice now. You've got four quarterbacks here in camp. Uh, just kind of talk me through, you know, what you've seen here through the first few days. Well, up to this point, I think they've done a good job. We've thrown a lot at them. Uh, everything's new for them. Uh, it's a new offense, a new scheme. Uh, getting used to the players and, and the receivers and kind of how they run the routes and things like that. I think they've got, done a good job up to this point. Uh, we've kind of hit a wall with camp where it is right now, but uh, they've done a good job progressing day to day. What's the main thing you're trying to focus on here in camp? I mean, you have all freshmen, so you know, no upperclassmen, all freshmen. Um, and you, do you feel like there's going to be a battle there, or do you pretty much, if you had to you know, make a, a guess right now, do you pretty much know who's going to be the one and two, or is it, is it really a, a good battle? I, I, I think I've got a good idea of, of, of where we're at. Uh, Carson Miller's done a great job. Uh, he's got a good set of physical tools. Um, I've got a couple young guys behind him um, that I want to give a chance to see what they can do. Uh, but right now, I think Carson's uh, further ahead of, than the young guys. And, uh, I expect you know, as we move forward that he'll continue to progress. And uh, hopefully those young kids you know, uh, you know, progress as well. And, uh, kind of separate themselves as we get closer to the season. You're a former quarterback yourself, uh, played collegiately and also played uh, arena ball. What does that, you know, tie over into this job? How does that help you, you know, maybe speak to them more uh, on the fact that you played the position and, you you know, you went to the, you know, the professional? Right, right. I, I, I think it helps a lot just, just obviously playing the position and kind of understanding what they're going through. Um, you know, there's different ways to teach people different things. I, I, I think uh, I try to teach them kind of how I was uh, I was taught in the progression and uh, I think it's helped because uh, because I've been there I, I've been in different systems and had to learn different systems and um, so I think that part's helped having played the position and they've got an understanding of, of uh, that I know I know what their their struggles are and I, and you know that I've got some things that I think I can help them with so Hopefully, with me having played the positions, it'll help them continue to grow. Uh, lastly, your, your first time in junior college football, correct? Correct. Uh, maybe the difference between junior college, you, you came from a Division III uh, Rhodes College right up the road, but uh, just some of your other previous employment places, how different is junior college? Can you compare it to those? Well, it's quite a bit different. It's, uh, I think the biggest thing is probably numbers-wise and, and uh, not being able to do a lot of things uh, just because you don't have the numbers that, that, that you do it. At the Division One, Division Two levels, um, I think the kids, you know, having most of our kids being from Mississippi, I think the football is a little, uh, there's a, there's a little bit more teaching going on at this level, uh, so I think that's a new learning curve for them. Um, but the bottom line is, it, it, it you know, what I've kind of learned is it's, it's, it's the same principles apply. It's pitch and catch. When you throw the football, uh, you still got to tackle, still got to run the football. So those things are still the same. Um, and so hopefully I can bring some things that we did at, at my other stops here and, and uh, you know, kind of give the, give the kids a new challenge for the future.